All right. So real quick, uh, this is a comment on Jeff Snyder's recent uh, interview with G George Gammon. He's asserting that QE raises interest rates, and does not lower them. Well, here's QE. There's the trend in interest rates. I suspect that at first I was like, he's just a total idiot. But what I think is happening, I think he's trading. I think he's trading these 10-year bonds that we're looking at here. And if, if you assume that, oh look, we'll see right there. Oh look, and so, so what the Fed says is that they do QE to lower interest rates. I mean, they initially they said it was to add liquidity, but when you look closely at their uh, at the various publications they have, if you actually read their documents, it's very clear that QE is part of their open market operations. It's part of how they control interest rates, and by buying more um, buying more bonds and more mortgages, the purpose is to bring down interest rates and to hold them within a range. So Jeff Snyder saying, no, that's not true. It does the opposite. And here we see initially on this chart, it works exactly like they described. But then if you happen to be late, you miss that first little thing and you buy in. Well, here it goes. They, they go for a while the same direction. And then there, again, they go the same direction a little bit. Oh, and then they go the opposite direction. So, but you look at this chart overall. This is fairly smooth. Initially, they made kind of a choppy move as they got into QE. They didn't know exactly what they're doing. They figured out pretty quick that the market didn't like that. The market wanted to know they were gonna buy a certain amount, a certain time, keep it simple. Don't, don't freak us out. So they did the smooth, consistent buy purchases. There's QE1, QE2, QE3, QE infinity. They try to keep it simple. The market of the bonds themselves, that is an erratic market. It moves up and down all around. If they had smoothed it out, that would have been horrible for the bond market. I mean, if you just were wanting to rent or you want to buy a house, interest rates being really easy to predict, that's great. But the bond traders need this to move. They need this to be, they need it to move and they need sometimes for it to move counter to what you think. If they're buying, if the Fed is buying treasuries, it needs to move opposite of what that should in theory do, or there's no way the bond traders can make money. So this is not a chart of the price of uh, treasuries or the volume of 10-year treasuries. This is the interest rate. So the, um, the, number, the amount of money being spent, though it's a large amount of money, is smaller significantly than the actual bond market. So to expect this to totally control short-term directional movement in this uh, interest rate, that's absurd. It's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to control the trend. The trend here can, was down. We had QE, trend continued to be down. If we hadn't had QE, presumably this trend would have reverted and the, it, rather than this blue line going up, you'd see the red line going up. Interest rates would have gone up instead of the Fed balance sheet. So anyway, my point here is if you're going to trade anything in the short term, you can't predict price action simply based on what the Fed chooses to do. I mean, you might make it, you might jump in on a trade and you might get lucky. You might make a ton of money and went exactly the way it should. But that's not the goal. They don't want that to happen every time. They want sometimes. They step in and buy assets, the price goes down. Other times they step in and buy assets, the price goes up. The trend is going to go where they want it to go.
but they don't necessarily want you to be able to predict that clearly and just it's not supposed to be a money printing machine for bond traders it's supposed to be a money printing machine for the treasury so they can just deal with whatever they need to deal with in the government on whatever budget deficit they have and they get a good interest rate they don't want it to be a money printing for you and me so anyway get it straight <laughs> that's my message for tonight we'll see if this one works I've had a couple of these I've made and they have failed so we'll see <laughs>